Japan Games Toys Geek Out Gaijin. Yahoo! Welcome back to Geek Out Gaijin, and we are back here at Stellar Town here in Saitama. And for those who are not familiar with this, we will be visiting uh, Book of Super Bazaar in a bit. But uh, I would just like to explain that this is an hour uh, commute from Shibuya Station. If you are uh, if you are in the Tokyo area and you are curious or would want to visit this particular place so it's an hour uh, commute so after we go and try uh, do our video game and toy hunt here at the soup, uh, book of super bazaar here in stellar town uh, we would also be going probably to Konosu and uh, after we're done here and later on we will also visit Kumagaya Mandai Shoten again so with that said let's go and do our so talk we're back here at uh, Book of Super Bazaar I always get uh, get that tangled up whether it's uh, I always say uh, Super uh, Super Book of Bazaar but rather is Book of Super Bazaar so here we are again hopefully we get to see uh, some of the things I'm hunting for so uh, I would just like to share with you guys what I am hunting and that's uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, some PlayStation 4 titles, video game related figures and uh, soundtracks and art books so let's go yeah in my lesson I'm gonna go grab a card right out Oh, that okay, so the first section we are checking right now is the Super Sentai section, Super Sentai Tokusatsu. Uh, the reason why I am going through this is trying to find a really cheap Mass Rider Black figure. Um, the OG one, that's the only. Or uh, also checking if there is a possibility that if there are uh, the Power Rangers here. And I believe it's, they named it a uh, Dino Ranger or something along those, those lines. And I really like the looks of this. And just check this out guys. It's only 385 yen for a boss. Now, uh, I'm not really that big on Super Sentai Tokusatsu, but I know that that is a sweet deal. Oh, Polygoroid. Uh, so this is an Ultraman Polygoroid. I have done unboxings for Polygoroid and uh, the uh, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Darth Vader, and the the Trooper, the Stormtrooper ones are really, really awesome. You should check those out. So I think this is the OG Ultraman. So uh, not really uh, that knowledgeable in terms of what uh, the names of the newer ones are but hey let's check this out since uh, we're already here and I have slight interest in uh, some of the things um, the uh, some of the shows that I used to watch during the 90s is Kikai Rider I thought it was Cyber Trooper so <laughs> anyway let's uh, check it out some more and when doing commentary for this particular blog now and uh, so that uh, since uh, most of you guys are do not like the pre tunes that I got from my editing software so I totally understand that and uh, yeah, anyway here they are so these are the Ultraman section, a mix. Ah, Kamen Rider Force, this dude I like. And also the Gamer one. Uh, I, yeah, did somebody put it on the comment below if you know who I'm talking about, the Gamer Kamen Rider. Hey, hey, hey. So, so many super sentai stuff here and here we are at the lego section okay lego movie maker 4800 oi batman okay if you could give me a good price i might consider it 6450 yen for this set 
uh, the box already banged up feels a little bit light it's too too expensive for me yes i am a cheapo i'm a happy humpy gamer <laughs> Diago. Harry Potter uh, what's that Ferrari I think what's this Fiat nope hey and I already saw the price so Millennium Falcon costs 20,000 yen too too expensive for me hey this is the tour one Let's check that one out. So, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, the Guardian ship. So, 12,728 yen. That is a little bit more acceptable. Hmm. Still too pricey for me. Just wanted to ponder on it. Well, in terms of Lego, the one that I'm really trying to find is uh the daily bugle one i'm trying to find it for uh ten thousand yen or below since that's not gonna happen so, so we do also have built ones like this ah, also trying to find the racer ring from the mandalorian yep, there's is there actually a little gold that one i don't think so let's move on and here is one of my favorite section, American comic section. So uh, here we see a cost baby Spider-Man No Way Home. And I know this is the probably the toys that uh, most of you are uh, that are common there in, uh, in the West. But uh, for me, whenever I see this toys it really gets me pumped up okay so bad black mass 1550 some cute basket here my wife is trying to get the season 4 Dustin and Robin season 4 Robin and uh, there's a lot of BTS here hey look Awesome news commander. I like that. I like that movie. Some Friday the 13th here. So 3, 4, 15 yen. So it's not really that properly organized. So really, really need to get down and dirty when it comes to doing our toy haunts in book haunts, <laughs> Katie. If that was a little bit cheaper, might have grabbed that one. Don't like uh, um, prices that are uh, above 1,000 yen because the chunk of <laughs> first he was really, really somewhat useless. Then he got the bop. <laughs> so some nice finds here. Rainbow Six, I'm not really big on Rainbow Six, so not grabbing those. Okay, so some more random stuff here. Uh, an Android there. So this is the latest release from uh, SPM figures. I don't really look, uh, don't really like the look of Brackets Blaster, so not grabbing that one some dark leader here hmm. it's rare to see WWE figures Iron Man Mark 50 hey Kingsman so Mafex of Galahad 5,500 yen too expensive for me old school lord of the rings two towers figure 2450 not a bad deal in my opinion not a bad deal i love the movie but i'm just not collecting for it okay some 
BB-8 and BB-9E here. So BB-8 is 1950. That's not a bad price for a BB-8 of that size. Some big figures here like this, they're devil. So 10,000 yen. Also Wonder Woman for 26,000 yen, an arrow. BB-8 pen so can seem to find anything that's uh, really cheap that may be here in the loose section <clears throat> this is inter interesting old school iron man i think this is a re-release okay so mostly transformers Hard to be too older. I think this is from Disneyland. I think quite pricey. Ninety. Okay. Well, we've gone through most of the stuff, and I didn't really find anything interesting that would really. I, that I would really grab for the price they are being sold for. Time to move on. Collection is a little bit underwhelming right now, but it's time to check the anime section. Hopefully, we get something that will help us up. Yahoo! Ikimetsu no Yaiba figures, as we have noticed in our previous uh, video game and toy hunts, is that they are going down in price right now. I think that is probably because they are they were so hyped but they're still hyped up to now but it's just that they have released such a huge amount of figures that uh, there's there's a huge influx and it is readily available right now on everywhere in fact everywhere that we go that it has devalued its prices so if you are collecting for Kimetsu no Yaiba, don't over pay for them. Just check out those prices, 300. I mean, uh, it's, now it's a good time to collect for it. Then afterwards, uh, see, although this one has a uh, very bad backs, uh, I've already gotten Tanjiro for 300. Anyway, that's my opinion on Kimetsu no Yaiba. And the same could be said for Jujutsu Kaisen. Just check out the prices. So, they are cheap right now. Just check out those prices. So, if you are collecting for uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and Kimetsu no Yaiba, I highly recommend that you collect them now before uh, usually uh, figure prices go from high when they are first released and uh, afterwards after a year or so they drop in prices and now is the time that is the best time to collect for it so they drop in prices then they might go up back up when they stop producing for them okay for people who don't care about um, boxes or if you are saving space in your luggages this is the best section and uh, the loose section since you can see here you can grab them this high-end figures and not really high-end in the sense that they are uh, pricey but rather their quality is really really good and they are not as pricey as the obviously not as pricey as the box ones but so if you don't really if you aren't really collecting the boxes themselves go here first say, save some space in your luggage uh, there's a lot of selection in every every book uh, out there right now I'm just trying to find any cute baskets or possibly a Majin Buu 
I might finally grab 17. Since it's just 700, I've already had 18 uh, at home. So, uh, my memory is a little bit foggy. I'm not sure if this is the original color or the red one. I need to check that. And, oh, by the way, these are the newest releases. So that's from the Cell Saga. Anyway. Hey. That's shiny. I like you. Bad ass brawler figure. I've been wanting to grab this one. I was just hoping it would be a little bit more cheaper. I'll think about it again for the hundredth time. Hey, awesome boa on clock. Eh, pricey. Sorry, that your host is a really, really cheap <laughs> person. Okay, I'm gonna really need to dig through so many Dragon Ball figures that are loose there. Digging and hoping that they might be cheap. Then I'd probably grab one of those then think about it before uh, checking out okay time to move on okay we are finally in the random anime plus uh, video game section figures anyway that's the first thing that i found and i'm trembling right now there's a damage at the bottom part so uh this is the master sword uh, figure the one that is placed on stone uh price at so twelve thousand yen including tax and i'm just really holding this and i know um uh, i could buy this it's just that it's gonna put a dent on my budget for this month so um, you know i'm just gonna place it here slowly i probably won't be able to get it but uh at least i would be able to hold it for some time okay. some more video game related figures here Okay, Danganronpa version 3. Okay, uh, ha I've only played Trigger Happy Havoc and the second one. Haven't played the third one, so mm, don't have any attachment to that guy yet. I don't know. Anyway, this has gone down in price. Really, really like this. I have this, I have unboxed this. Awesome cute basket figures. So, our time I was reincarnated as slime figures tiger and bunny AOT 8,000 yen for the colossal titan okay. world ends with you already oh, did an unboxing for that one really nice figures nice set Cheap to boot. Okay. There's a near automata here. So 33,000 yen. That has gone up and price so much. Same goes for Sephiroth. Now at 13,200 yen. This is also a nice figure. Sakona Price and Ruin. So uh, Naruto with the Rasengan. Uh, I'm also trying to find a uh, cute basket of uh, a Naruto on his original colors. Okay, so nice to see they still have the Cloud uh, Ichiban Kuji figures. Look at that, that. I'm not collecting for it, but uh, just take a look at that siren. Siren? Is that the siren? Oh yeah, that's right. I was second guessing myself. Okay, so some more fleet grand orders here. And uh, what is this? 
Fake Cloud version 2? I think it's version 1, so 12,100 yen for version 1. Well, one thing about uh, video game related figures is they tend to be scattered a lot among the um, the regular uh, anime figures. So, not familiar with those. Uh, I, I watched, I think I bought a couple of those are the sisters. I think I watched, I just forgot what anime that is from. Eric, down there. Uh, here's a Triforce Ichiban Kuji clock going for 4,400 yen. Yeah, another video game related figure Kokoro of Dead or Alive. So, this is her Dead or Alive Extreme Get Up really nice okay I think that's all the video game related figure on here okay time to move on okay so there's another aisle of uh, anime figures so this mix match up Evangelion um, Andalusian GG Andalusian Gundam think oh yeah that's from Gundam Hathaway I just remembered I watched that so ask Langley okay some detective Conan stuff here hmm oh my hero academia so Midoriya Deku Oh, Chaco. All Might. So, uh, hey, My Hero Academia did not have a downward trend, so they are priced fairly as of this moment. I really like the look of the the di uh, dioramatic figures. Those are really, really nice. And uh, we are in the Disney section of Q Posket. My wife's been collecting uh, this. This one. The ones uh, from uh, the Avatar style characters. The ones from uh, Wreck It Ralph. And besides that, she, uh, she's also collecting the uh, Stranger Things one. I think I have mentioned that earlier. So, Ren Rem. Brandon Rem has also is also experiencing a downward trend in pricing right now. Kenshin has been really pricey. I'm so glad I've already gotten one. Yeah. So all the Kenshin is expensive in terms of Q Posket for Rurouni Kenshin. And here we go. Hey! Virtual Fighter, come on over. This Virtual Fighter, okay, Jeffrey McWild. Hmm. This has got me thinking that probably somewhere here, uh, this Akira is here. So hopefully, let's try and uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go do this off camera because it's such a huge space here. Let's try to find those uh, virtual fighter figures. Yep. We just finished uh, rummaging through those uh, the loose figures, and uh, we are now at the original soundtracks. And I must say, if you like uh, video game OSTs, they have a really huge selection. Let me show you guys. Okay, so let's start off with the common ones. So seven eight nine nine i haven't seen a nine with a slip cover yet so uh that's that so you can see here 1100 904 ff9 
720 for final and just, just look at the quality of this one for 720 yen definitely recommending going here 1300 now they also just looking down there's the persona soundtrack see really really awesome quality to boot just check that quality out so uh, this hasn't been done in price yet and i was really hoping i'd finally get that one anyway for our emblem here is the most expensive one eleven thousand. okay so we have bravely default here applying fairly 1300 this one I might get this one, really nice artwork. So, Bravely Default 2 is much more expensive since it does a lot more tedious. Currently, um, playing this now, but since I got them, I set this aside again. <laughs> and I was, I'm playing for Emblem Engage right now. Okay. 12 let's look at the price 720 already i already have this one so not grabbing that that's why if you are if you are a fan of of uh, video game related soundtracks they have a really nice selection here so there's fantasy store really nice one There's Sakura. Oh, I'm correct. I stand correct. It's Tyne's Gate is the most expensive one. Okay, so we have Chrono Cross here. Also, really, really nice price. This damage in this part. So, let's check. Okay, so um this one has a better uh better jewel case but this one has the slip cover or the slip spine so uh, let's think about that first got vampire hunter here 1600 and vampire saver for 3100 <laughs> This is a nice jewel case. So Grand Blue Fantasy Piano Collection. I didn't this is the one for the mobile game. We have London here. Cowboy Bebop. That's not Cowboy Bebop. Evangelion here. So really really nice selection. Really really highly advised. Checking this out, Street Fighter 2. <laughs> it's nice. Devil May Cry 4 here. Devil May Cry 4, 613. <laughs> Why am I even thinking about this? But I would really want to get Devil May Cry 5. Okay, let's check out this the one with the slip spine is also 630 so so what's the difference here can't really tell okay so we have to decide if why they're making this think so obviously some Dragon 4 will be pricey, so um, I think uh, that has already given you guys such an awesome idea of what you could find here or in terms of uh, original soundtrack. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but 630 yen, 
might check this up on Google first. Hmm. So as I was uh, going to the original soundtracks, I was uh, so it was actually connected to the video game section, and I didn't really want to show too much uh, about the video game section since they are mostly more of the same. But surprisingly, I finally found really cheap Mega old school Mega Man title Slater X five four eighty X four four eighty and also Street Fighter 3 for 480 so really um you, you never can really say what you're gonna find and uh i would just like to comment that um capcom titles are one of the easier titles to really find uh on the older games because they have this particular design at the bottom of your games so they also have some really decently priced shoot em ups if you're uh, looking for this game. So I uh, really really highly recommend going through this particular book of for um, video game stuff since it's only around uh, an hour, an hour commute from, uh, from Shibuya Station and in my opinion that is a very worth, worth it uh, time time to put for you to be able to check out uh, this place when it comes to video game stop okay naman bili mo yan experience ko lang ako rin eh ko kasi ano to isang lapad dalawang libo inexperience ko rin lang Binit bit ko lang siya para maramdaman ko pa paano bumili ng mamahaling bagay. Ayun din si Tita Gaye dyan, tignan nyo. Meron din bit bit. Nagkapuli kang kawin ni Tito Patatas na umili. Ay, hindi, hinahanap talaga kita. Ako anis, ako anis. Kaya ako tignan mo, anis rin naman no. <laughs> Yan, okay, takita ka. Isang lapad, dalawang libo. Di wow. Kala naman niya, bibiling ko siya. Di niya alam, dinate ko lang siya. Binit bit ko lang siya para ano. Akala rin itong bit bit ko, bibiling. Ay, gusto mo? Kahon no? Mura yata yan no? Gusto mo kahon? Bibilang kitang kahon? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Okay, so I returned a lot of stuff because I saw it and said I'm a cheapo. So this is what the cart is looking like right now uh, with the Bravely Default soundtrack here. So uh, for the last part of the video game and soy hunt here at the uh, uh, Book of Super Bashar, uh, here's the video game art book section so this is the first thing that would really call another sell the breath of the wild thing here so this is the masterworks i believe that this the compendium of both uh, hyrule graphics and hyrule encyclopedia so when it was released it was uh, priced at 46 so this is 3850 which in my opinion is a very very good price so Hmm. Take a deep breath, put it here. So, really, really huge, really, really heavy. So, I might be reading that off camera. Okay, so where are the visions here? So, I love tactics and I love Final Fantasy tactics, but I didn't really get into award divisions mainly because uh, I have experienced Final Fantasy Brave Exhibition that's not really a nice experience the I, I loved it the first time uh, so two four so I think it has uh, 50% off so that's a per price and I'm already I already have this book so I'm just showing you guys yeah, uh, and they don't really have a, a huge selection here because I did my rounds here before I went to this particular uh, particular show, and uh, this is their only 
uh, video game related uh, video game related book section so that's more or less it for uh, the things that would actually interest us so time to pack up and go to the cashier Ooh. and we are now in Konosu so we left Stellar Town which is a uh, an hour plus away from this place and i'm recording using my left hand now i damaged my pinky because uh, <laughs> of the recording and that's why uh, i find it uh, somewhat hard to record the video so here we are so this time we are at uh, konosu and uh same deal i uh, still gonna be looking for those stuff um just gonna be selecting the things that i'll be recording since um uh, i'm having a hard time holding the phone right now sorry guys uh, the pinky <laughs> even find it hard to drive earlier anyway let's go inside yeah Ooh. okay so we can see the showcase section here there's a bb and boa looking fine nice look of figure Okay, so oh, Monster Hunter figures price fairly well. Persona 3, that's a very nice Super Mario diorama right there. Conan fans, check out the artwork on that one. So, since the showcase has a very bright light, you could see the blur on those parts. So this one's not so really familiar with Gundams. Nice color in that one. Epion. I have the dead side. So <laughs> so small crossbone Gundam. Those are some nice builds. I really love freedom and strike freedom. This one's a metal build, so that's why it's priced really really hard what is this cup a oh, harry potter so i think that's the goblet of fire please correct me if i'm wrong i like harry potter and all but not really that knowledgeable not super knowledgeable uh, just some batman figures price really really fairly Now that's one hell of a matchbox. Hey, X Wing. <laughs> that's cool. I really, really love showcase sections. It's just that I rarely buy from them because they're really, really pricey. Okay, so this is the end of the showcase section besides the matchbox so let's check out other stuff oh, look at this so massive soft vinyl figure of batman i don't know what this is but it's priced almost at uh 37,500 so we're gonna pass on that so Looking down below, we could see the Spy X family figures have considerably gone down in price. See, yours now 1200 But uh, for any figures going down in price, we could see here a Lloyd and yours still still on the almost 3000 Here's the Denji. This Lloyd Forger figure is the cheapest version so that's a little supper figure not really digging that one hey so i need this i also need naruto so as i've said uh, earlier uh my hero academia figures are priced uh somewhat uh, on the higher end but as opposed to the Jujutsu Kaisen, so same, same here. Nice. In terms of uh, figure collecting, I have to say that uh, 
Dragon Ball would be the has the most impact when placed on a shelf. It's just really uh, so iconic and it commands presence whenever you display it and even non geeks and anime geeks know what Dragon Ball is. So that's that. Anyway, I think we're done here. Okay, we are at the video game section. You can see here uh NX Edge style look. So price of uh, 3520 and Alpamon price at 3080. And here I found this Chungi figure. Whoa, whoa. I'm probably getting this. <laughs> oh my pinky hurts. Okay, another video game related figure. Cannot really show the quality of this one but it's priced at 7700 yen and the luminary and the dragon quest 8 uh bring arts is still as pricey as ever so uh, actually it's been uh, a total of six months since i've seen them so they're still there so this just means they're really pricey this is a uh, really sexy puji kuhin price really high so <laughs> this <laughs> this made me laugh so for everybody watching spikes family that brat right there cool looping figure it's really a really cool looping figure mm -hmm. Let's see how much the price is different from the earlier. <laughs> see, this Kenshin is priced at 700. We're in the one we saw earlier in uh, in Stellar Town was a thousand, uh, two thousand. Uh, right now, I only need Inuyasha for Q Posket, Naruto, and some others that. <laughs> Speaking of Inuyasha, there he is, but I want the standard red one, not the white one, the one that looks like this. Okay, more of the game related stuff, Spirits Within. So for 550, you could get Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dr. Sid. And here's your uh, broody vampire boy, Vincent Valentine. This is really small, but uh, these are one of the first. So Bandai created this. It's just really, really uh, awesome to find this uh, completely carted. Anyway, the regular. The regular stops are here. Uh, you know, rude. I think uh, they have stabilized the pricing of this one at three thousand. I think I've saw I saw I saw this before. So yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we are in the American Promise section. So we have grabbed the Captain Marvel Cupid Scrap. White is gonna love this one. Uh, we have been binge watching Marvel movies at so late, and she really liked Captain Marvel. Also, I'm not sure if she would love uh, this Harley. Uh, I believe we don't. Do we have this Harley? Oh my god, I'm not sure. <laughs> we have bought so many Harley and I am no longer sure which ones we do have. So, I know we have this one. Okay, so I already got this. I got both uh, tours. Anyway, let's just grab Captain Marble for the meantime. 
Uh, as for your Q pocket in the American comment section side, we are still missing uh, Captain America and Iron Man. So, there's a nice figure of Ant Man. And this is uh, Spider Man. I think, um, far from home, it's written here. And here's a happy Kuji Deadpool bust. I would love to get that, but 4,000 yen, too rich for my blood. Yeah, creator X Creator. This has a really dynamic scope, and I like this one. Actually, almost all all uh, Spider-Man figures has a dynamic pose. Now, here is a series that I like this time, but I don't want to go and collect everything. Even though they have two of this here right now, so here is the Doctor Strange one for Maximum Carnage, and here is the Captain America one. They are really really nice, but. It's gonna be so hard to track every figure on that line. I know that's half the pun, but I'm already collecting so much stuff. So uh, adding another one to the list and it's even really hard to catalog it. So that's why I, I'm opting for smaller figures to make them fit. Okay. So what else could we see? There's that, Iron Man, Iron Man, Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. Uh, do it yourself money. <laughs> so yeah, it's cute, but uh, I'm not really good at painting. So just wanted to show you guys. Cross baby tree pack, really nice. 6,000 yen, nope, too pricey for me. And what else could we see here? <laughs> big, big Gundam, big, big Eva. Okay, let's go to the video games. And they have a fair collection of uh, box uh, Super Famicom games. And I, I go for it if it's uh, uh, 400 or 500, like this one. And this is the one that I already have. So I think that's a pretty common price for it. And Turbo goes for 2,000 yen. Same for Hyper Python. So. That is one of the reasons why I don't really collect that uh, actively or I don't really pursue it because I know that uh, it's going to be priced at the uh, price really expensively. Hey look, Malenya here. There's a Malenya. So since I'm Filipino, my outright reaction in my mind is Eddie Wow which means uh, now you now I see you and I don't have money basically that's what that means and I'm just gonna touch touch and we're gonna walk away <laughs> joking aside anyway uh, let's check out what else is here room factory 5 I don't even know how much that went for on release, but huh? that doesn't even have English, so I'm only interested in the Malenia figure. And the only Souls like game I have finished is uh, what they call that? A Neo, Neo One. So, uh, not really that big on souls like because the versions here that i could buy the japanese versions do not have any uh, full english language support 
for from soft game so that's why i stay away from them unless i see an r1 copy my pinky is really hurting right now okay so hey what's this soul caliber playstation arcade stick so yeah arcade stick so 4950 hmm. uh, maybe next time okay controllers PlayStation 2 controller going for 140. PlayStation 3 controller. Yeah, this is cheap. So, should be cheap. Oh, price really well. But I already have uh, Chuli over there, so. Would they get the black one? Pink one? If there was a red one, then I wouldn't even be thinking about which one to get. Uh, anyways, uh, so that I would not bore you guys with the controllers, uh, let's check out the other stuff. So, loose for GBA, 3DS, and a PSP. I'm not really interested, so I don't dig through those stuff. Anyway, here's uh, how much that is going for. Already have this one, so okay. Huh, I think that's it for this section. Okay, so far I've rummaged through uh, the video game original soundtrack section, and the only one that I found that was really, really. Uh, okay for me or the price is something that I'm willing to pay for is Kingdom Hearts 2 glad to have found this and let's check out the complete one 8100 so uh, okay so just bye bye to them <laughs> so I'm getting this really happy for this one yeah mm. okay so last part for this particular stuff we are here at the uh, 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 art book section <laughs> sorry so uh, just try to look for anime character so that means anime and that's character and check it they have this particular section so that's how you find the video game art book section and hopefully okay so it's hard for me so here's replicant oh i thought it was near Final Fantasy 7 Is this an art book? Oh, it's a guidebook I'm not really interested in the guidebooks I only like the artworks Since I'm not really that knowledgeable on kanji So Okay I think we'll let go and it's an Elden Ring overture. Uh, so I don't think there's anything really that uh, interesting for me here. Okay, time to pack it up here at this stop and let's go to Monday shopping in Kumagaya. Yeah. So I found some hardies here uh, since YP is collecting them. So I'm just having her check which one she like. The, so those are the ones that you don't have yet why it's two those two are uh, a little bit pricey it's priced at 1400 so i'm just showing you since we don't we don't have those so but the other one is 500 with box and we don't we also don't have that one so that's the suicide squad version suicide squad version and this is the birds of prey version the more colorful one i think this one okay so because i don't like this it's so simple okay okay yeah mm. yeah mm.
And as I was making my way out, I just saw this Evangelion bust. So I think it's a popcorn holder. Uh, but out of all the popcorn holders that I have seen, this is the most sophisticated one. And much, much more detailed. And I love that it the mouth opens up like this. But sadly, it's way out of my budget. So 3980 that's 4,000 yen. But still, third and final stop is Mandai Shoten Kumagaya. So, just a recap at first. So, this is just all connected with one road. So, if you want to really experience uh, a video game and toy hunt here in Japan that's uh, cl very close to Tokyo, so you would start off uh, in road 17. The first one you should go to is Stellar Town. Then, the next stop should be uh, Book of Super Bazaar in Ageo third stop would be uh, the book of Super Bazaar in Konosu and your final stop should be here in Kumagaya all of those could be done in a day so uh, this is uh, a single day we started um, we get we got from Isasaki so we went to uh, to Stellar Town first but if you are coming from Tokyo you could probably still do Mandai Shot and Isesaki after going here. So that is all connected in uh, through route, uh, route 17. Even going as far as Mandai Shot and in Takasaki. But we're gonna end our video game and toy hunt with this last stop. So let's go, yeah! The first thing that I'm trying to look for here is the... Um, what do you call this? The Overseas North American section. I trying to find if they also have one because Monday shot and usually has one particular place where uh, all of the all of those are uh, all bundled up. Anyway, since we are here in the DS section, so this one has full English language support. Going for that price, this one I'm not so sure. Although the PSP copy has full English language support, this one I have to check with Reddit or someplace if it does have one. Not really sure since the PSP is going for 3000 to 4000 nowadays. This one I really like. Anyway, I'm gonna try and go find that. Uh, U.S. Um, overseas selection first and this is probably the section why I highly recommend coming here you can see there there's Splatterhouse uh, 2,500 yen uh, I'm not sure yeah Splatterhouse so also uh, there's uh, I forgot the title of this one but 2,800 yen very acceptable price for that one Gunman's crew, uh, it's a bit pricey. Okay, art of fighting. So, Fire Emblem, Prince of Persia. See, so this particular shop has quite the selection and very competitive pricing. In my, uh, just in my opinion, I'm not sure if you could, uh, if, uh, how much, uh, Super Potato is selling this particular titles for nowadays, but uh, here they are. So, Far Emblem is really, really pricey. There you go. Castlevania, as I have said, always pricey, so I do not really collect for it. Even though, so, Art and tactics, a tactics game that I haven't played sadly, right? Um, it's way beyond my budget. That's seen an awesome game, pricey too. So, this particular showcase is what I keep coming back just to really look at, anyway. Time to move on. Let's take a look at the loose section. So, um, not gonna go through this, but since I have. I told you earlier that I'm not into uh, loose PSP figures, but some um, I do I do collect for uh, Famicom, Super Famicom, just not N64. 
but uh, I'm I'm just a little bit tired uh, at of this moment. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, second second class uh, controllers. That's how much they are going for. If you are interested, uh, also 1,704. And yeah, just lots and lots of. It's already a tad bit late, so just passing through here. Trying to give you some commentary, so anyway, some of the titles that are common. So, those are the, how much they are going for. So, this is most probably the common ones. Kirby collections, a little bit pricey. Uh, panel, something. Rockman Soccer. So, yeah such an awesome selection for this shop and I still haven't found I still haven't found where the US overseas selection is Here's an example of the things that gets my blood pumping whenever I go on hunts, uh, video games, the specials, additions for 500 gen, man. This is still. But uh, Xbox One, I'm not really sure because sometimes they are price really cheap, sometimes they are really, really uh, expensive. So. Not not really sure. No, for we, I'm just always checking at uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, but it's always overpriced. So stay, I try to stay away from it. And most Wii games do not really have uh, English language support. Okay, so here's PlayStation section, PlayStation Two, to be more specific. So looking for Sega Ages uh, Volume 32. The so it's a little bit tight, so and it's really hard to show everything. But uh, here are the stuff that I can show you. And at my back is the. PlayStation 3 section which I have been binge collecting for I actually had to take a shot of my collection because I'm at the point where I'm forgetting which ones I already have for it anyway I'm just gonna check out uh, if there's anything interesting here okay so I have been to the uh, art book section not much to find there so I uh, went to the original soundtrack section so much better finds here okay give me a good price this one I like ah not good for me okay let's try the other one okay still pricey but I found the tail series here, so Vesperia 300. Gimme, gimme. Why are there two Vesperia? What's Legendia is a bit pricier, so. Um, Graces. Okay, I'm not sure why Mesperia is uh, a multi-part one. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any information, but that's really a really nice price for it. Three hundred yen. Final Fantasy section. Okay. so uh, those are the common things but here's uh, 
rare or fine tactics a2 okay so uh, that's it i think it's time for us to go down and check out the uh the figures downstairs yahoo okay so we are in the american comic section with spawn and aliens this is actually quite cute so mess it first time i've seen that hey mia dobovich souvenir program book so that's nice i know it's not really critically acclaimed but i still enjoyed it pricey Han Solo pop up, a uh, Panko pop, pop up. <laughs> okay. They have reorganized everything, and I'm not sure if uh, also their stock got. Anyway, I'm really kind of uh, I'm really kind of disappointed That's what I found Although there, there's a lot of coupons get, As you can see here But they're priced A little bit more expensive Than what we are used to Seeing them for See, even the loose one is expensive <laughs> the ugly hard <laughs> anyway there's the showcase so uh bear break hey squid game didn't know that that had big works mini Venom Cynthia uh, Symbiote will bring the click dark pop. <laughs> hey. Cool Freddy Krueger figure there. There's the Nendoroid of uh, Predator that I really wanted. Price is really high right now. Gremlins over here. So, some hot toys. Don't know who those are, but that's a really cool hawk figure. Bob Pets figure arts, uh, Palpatine, Venom Pool. That one's cool. Killing Joke Joker. Chucky here. Princess Leia. Yo! Anyway, Evil Dead. Hey, Jameson. <laughs> so there's a helmet here, price at 10,000 yen, so each month for the Stormtrooper helmet. Uncle Pop. Anyway, their reorganization, and I think they have not restocked much. So uh, let's check out the other sections. Finally, I found the video game section. So there are some Dragon Quest figures. There's the Morrigan that I cannot afford. I probably would not ever get it since it's really expensive. In here, Santa Gears. That's an awesome, awesome figure, but uh, the price is not justified since that's only bring arts. That's not even a uh, player sky. Red 13, 6000. Those metal figures are cool. 
was priced really expensively. Hey, super Chris Redfield, Shiba Zombie. Okay, moving down. What's here? Oh, there's an Arthur. Ghosts and Goblins. So at the back, we cannot really see that. Dragon Quest 10 tarot cards. Okay, uh, further down below, uh, Apex Legend, Nandroid, and not familiar with the others except for Levi over there. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, and we're done for this uh, video game and toy hunt slash uh, guide uh, for uh, hunting uh, on your car from Tokyo all the way to Takasaki. Although we did not really go to Takasaki, but uh, anyways, just till road 17, just go all the way straight. Anyway, that's it for this. Uh, see you back at Gikal Gaijin HQ for the holes. Yeah, oh. yeah, oh, and we're back. Time for the Hole. so these are the things that you saw on the video so uh, I decided to not get the PlayStation 1 games for the meantime and just get Soul Calibur 4 and uh, Tekken 6 so this is uh, some more games added to my fighting game collection so uh, but we did get the Kingdom Hearts 2 OST really had to grab this since uh, this is so much pricier on the other stores that I have seen it go for. And also, we got Bravely Default Flying Fairy OST. This is a really, really nice box art. And I just like to open it up because uh, I really want to see uh, what it looks like. Okay. Okay, there we go. This really got me curious as to. Ooh. Okay, so. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So it's paper pack all the way. So that's that's nice really glad i got this really really nice anyway uh we also and when on konosu this is what we got so we got captain marvel and two harley quins which are gonna be added to my uh to my wife's q posket collection so i think the only one that she's missing uh Pertaining to Harley Quinn would be the the original Suicide Squad one, the very first one, and that is the most uh, the rarest out of the Harley Quinn Q Posket figure. So we're not really sure if we would be able to get that. Anyway, uh, these are the art books that I got. So there's a price on there. So I'm not sure if. Uh, I'll be able to find the volume one of this but luckily volume two is as you can see here uh, it's uh, there's cloud there's squall and uh, there's sedan and over here we got Tidus Tidus uh, van lightning and these are the two online games that sadly I have not yet I have not played an online Final Fantasy game. Well, I did play Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, uh, if we could consider that as, as online, but that's more on more on mobile gaming anyway. And lastly, I would like to share with you guys uh, something I got delivered from. Amazon since I was so excited regarding my latest purchase so I got judgment lost judgment and 
Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Uh, really excited to get uh, get on with this. And that is it for this very long video. And I would just like to reiterate that um, the route that I take, I would be including uh, a Google map down in the description below so that if you want to try, uh, if you are in Tokyo and you have a lot of uh, free time, a lot of extra time that you want to go to the stores that I went to, I would be posting a particular route on the description that would maximize, I think, uh, a day that could be doable in a day because all of the stores are uh, somewhat connected to Route 17. Anyway, that is it for this very, very long video game and toy hunt. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is something new. I tried, uh, uh, I didn't edit it with any music whatsoever. All of the sounds that you are hearing from the video were all, uh, all the natural sound from that. So I hope that you guys appreciate this new style of editing this new style of uh, video coming from Geek Out Gaijin. And thank you so much for watching. This geek is out here.